I want to talk about another topic that this book covers, which is the difference between assets and liabilities. So when you think of a typical asset, you might think car, house, boat, uh, shoes, whatever else, camera, you know, these could be assets that you have. And, you know, think of liabilities. Well, it's like a liability might be, well, something that costs me money. Either way, probably a lot of people don't think about what a liability might be. But I'm going to still keep talking about assets for a minute. R Robert Kiyosaki explains the definition of assets from a different lens. In his opinion, an asset should only be characterized as something that brings in cash flow that increases your income and a liability is something that decreases your income by go by creating expenses for you so let's think of the common example of a house when robert kiyosaki explained this shift to me i like never looked at the idea of buying house again the same and I guess the idea is so many people are like, oh, I want to buy my first house. I want to create an asset and I want to have a mortgage. And let's say you're, you're having to pay mortgage on this house for 15 or 30 years. That's kind of the two options. And you know, sure, it is an asset, but every month it's a liability to your, yourself and to your bank account. And it's like, hmm, I don't know if – I don't know why our culture is so interested in let's go buy that house even if I might not have the money for it but then I'll have an asset and then I can start putting money into equity and it's like hmm I just I don't see that to be as great of a route because I feel like one of the more scary financial things to happen would be I want to buy this house that I don't have enough money for and now for the next 15 to 20 years I'm going to be strapped to try to pay this mortgage. I can't take days off because I got to pay my mortgage for the next 15 years, 27 years. I got to pay this mortgage. And I'm like, hmm, I'm, I'm going to take a different route. I'm going to funnel my expenses into different business opportunities, whether that be anything regarding podcast and YouTube channel, or is that be trying to help grow an expert cleaning venture, or is that being a consultant or a business coach, or there's a hundred ideas you can make money, but I'm going to keep trying more and more ideas because I see the power of that. And then it's like, okay, if you have enough of income sources, then adding a something like a liability of a house is really not going to matter as much because once you have enough income streams, now you're not strapped to try to pay for a mortgage with the single income stream that you were going to have when you were going to buy that house. And that's just, you know, it's such a classic thing that you hear online, or at least I have for years. Make sure you have more than one income stream. What separates the rich from the poor is having more than one income stream. And that's quite true. It's like, but what is an income stream technically? It's something that brings you cash flow every month. And it's something that you had to dedicate time and money and effort into, at least initially, to create. And you had to go take a financial risk. You know, there was a potential that you were not going to make any money, that you were going to lose money. But you have to undergo that risk.